So let me start uh, by introducing Colleen Briggs. She is the Executive Director of Community Innovation within the Office of Corporate Responsibility and Global Philanthropy at J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, a global leader in corporate philanthropy with $200 million invested in communities annually. She is responsible for helping establish and execute the firm's global philanthropic and corporate responsibility uh, financial capability. Colleen also manages the foundation's portfolio of global financial inclusion grants, impact frameworks, and grant guidelines, and works with the lines of business to share best practices to improve the firm's products and services. Now, before she came to her position, Colleen was the economic policy advisor to Senator Debbie Stabenow. In this role, Colleen managed the Senator's economic portfolio, including policy related to financial services, tax, small business, job creation, community development, manufacturing, and housing. Colleen managed the Dodd-Frank market reforms for the Senate Agricultural Committee and helped draft the Recovery Act, TARP, the Dodd-Frank Dodd -Frank Act, and health care reform. Colleen is a member of the Asset Funders Network Steering Committee and the Innovations for Poverty Action Policy Advisory Group. She earned an MBA from Yale School of Management and a BA from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So please help me welcome Colleen. First, I want to thank everybody for coming out today and for the Housing Assistance Council for hosting today's conversation. Um, the work that you and your team do is just so critical to the country. And, you know, we share HAC's commitment to strengthening communities and the organizations that are supporting them. And like HAC, we believe that some of the most urgent challenges facing communities today, regardless of size or geography, are how to promote economic opportunity, mobility, and more widely shared prosperity for everyone. And that's why J.P. Morgan Chase is focused on expanding economic opportunity and driving more inclusive economic growth. And we be believe that we've got a role to play in that. And that's why we're dedicating the form's resources to tackling this issue. Over the next five years, we've committed a billion dollars towards boosting economic growth and expanding economic opportunity for those who have been left behind by today's economy. Our commitment extends beyond these dollars. We're focused on how can we use our employees, our technology, and our balance sheet to maximize our impact. And an example of how we've deployed this is through the Partnerships for Raising Opportunity in Neighborhoods. It's shorthand is sort of pro-neighborhoods. It's a five-year, $125 million program that's focused on how do we increase the availability and the accessibility of vital economic opportunities, such as affordable housing, in vulnerable communities across the country. Pro Neighborhoods provides local leaders, like many of you, with the tools needed to promote economic opportunities through affordable housing programs and other local interventions in their communities. We recently joined with other foundations in supporting the Uplift America Fund to catalyze investment in rural communities to improve housing, employment, education, and healthcare outcomes for families and children. The fund will help experienced lenders deploy large amounts of capital in rural, high-poverty communities while strengthening their capacity to sustain these efforts going forward. We know that each community is unique with its own local challenges and strengths. And local community leaders, like all of you, are in the trenches every day working with limited resources to improve your communities. You are the ones who best understand the opportunities and the challenges facing your communities. And you're the best situated to craft local, customized solutions to address them. Through Pro Neighborhoods, our goal is to leverage that type of local knowledge to ensure that the people living in overlooked communities can access safe, affordable housing and ultimately more equitable economic opportunities. Because we believe that the first rung of the ladder to achieving economic opportunity starts with housing. We're thrilled to partner with HAC and many others in this room to achieve this goal. We look forward to joining the discussion today and tomorrow and continuing our shared objective to promoting and improving housing conditions and economic inclusion for all. 
thank you again for letting us join this conversation and looking forward to meeting many of you today. Thanks so much. Thank you.